Hey everybody, it's Tim at Broken Dice, bringing you a quick little channel update. I got my paint and groove back on, and I think what uh, was holding me up was the actual space I was painting in. And uh, sometimes you just have to change things up a little bit and uh, get yourself back into a, a really kind of a, a calm space. You don't need to have everything... Uh, all chaotic so what I did was on my I have a small little table here that's like it's like two by four basically and um, I had these paint shelving things that were on it that seem to push things out and so, so you know when you have like a couple of different pro painting projects on your table you just, your actual space to paint and do things it starts getting smaller and smaller because you keep you know putting more stuff on the table um, so what I did was I rearranged um, my painting area and so let's move the camera so you see all right now I'm not bragging about these things this is not this was something quick I just threw this stuff together and it's not like super high tech or anything like that but what it did was it made me uh, have uh, organized made me get organized here and so let's just turn the camera a little bit so you, and then we'll just kind of pan a little bit cable oh shoot cable turning my camera thing there we go that should be better and so as you can tell, as we go up, we got, I'll just, I'm going to have to hold the camera. Sorry, guys. It's going to give you vertigo. If I back up a little bit. So you can see all the shelving that I went and, and added. And I got my lights focused down onto where I paint. And then the shelving. And you see these, like, right there, those white and gray those actually are supposed to lay the other way in like a stair step. But because the painting bottles are, are so small, this is actually like for like spices and stuff like that. So I just flipped them up the other way and those paint bottles fit right on there. So I got some where I can go up a little bit and gets this, uh, my painting area cleaned up and gives me more space. And then that way, I don't feel all cluttered and my mind is more relaxed when I come down here to sit and paint. So, yay, I got that straightened around. I'm kind of getting back into the painting thing. It was, I wasn't like I took a month or two or a year off. It just I just had to fix something, something I knew wasn't right, and it was my space. And I just went to a local uh, big box store and just got some shelving and some uh, you know braces and stuff and just screwed it together and and made some little shelves and got that stuff up into a space that wasn't being utilized in my hobby area and it makes things so much better and so my project that i'm starting on is uh let's just take this camera down back down to the um painting desk and we'll turn this here as you can see I have some uh, dragoons from uh, Warlord Games for my English Civil War project uh, and I got these a long time ago yeah, okay but uh, yeah we're gonna get these guys rolling and get this little project done I've got some uh, uh, old Games Workshop, Kistle of Winged Lancers. I'm, I'm, I'm sprucing back up from out of the closet. And uh, I had a box of the uh, Scottish Lancers for the English Civil War that I never got around to, to making them up that way. I just went ahead and made them regular um, cavalry. But I found three models that had you know, they just had that look of the Scottish Slancer. And so what I did was I just went ahead and since I had some of these extra horses from, uh, oh, I better sit down here like this, from uh, World Games Atlantic, 
I used those. Now, I couldn't use the, the saddle blanket or the saddle from War, uh, War Games Atlantic because their legs just aren't designed to go around that. It's, it's fairly thick, and so it, their, real, their legs aren't designed for it. But see, they got so much kit on the back of the model itself, like right here, that you can't tell me they, they're sitting on a saddle or not anyway. So that's going to be fun. I just put three of those together. And so I got another box of this. So that would be like a small unit I could put out of, of uh, Scottish Lancers or something, like uh, Border Reavers, that sort of thing. Um, that's it. That's where I'm at right now on my, my painting. Uh, going along, I've got my, uh, uh, got my mind right, my space right, feeling good about it. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting some more stuff done. If I can just, uh, keep life from, uh, getting in the way, you know, I can, uh, uh, get some projects done. So, uh, that's it for this. Everybody, uh, enjoyed this kind of thing. Give it a thumbs up, share, it, all that kind of stuff. Uh, what are you guys working on? I hope they're all going really well for you. Uh, I hope your space, have you, have you worked on your space? Have you changed your space up a little bit? Uh, have you uh, moved and had to rearrange and rethink how you go about your hobby just because the actual physical space in which you do it has changed? Um, be an interesting uh, conversation to have with some people. Uh, see what they do, how they how they got along with uh, changing things up, um, making things better, uh, more, um, let's see, what's your ergonomic, as it were. All right, that's enough of this. Everybody stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time.